Hey everyone, today we're diving into the Gospel hymn, When the Angels Carry Me Home. This is on page 43 of Gospel book number 3, and you can find the link to book number 3 in the description below. The song was written by Charlie Monroe in November 7, 1947, and the first recording and first release was by Charlie Monroe and his Kentucky Partners. However, this classic has been performed by many artists over the years, including Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs with the Foggy Mountain Boys, Monroe Crossing, J.D. Crow in the New South, and so many others. Stick around after the performance for my tutorial. So let's get started. Alright, so let's talk about the key and the chords. I played this song using the chords from the key of G, and those chords are G, C, and D. Sometimes a D7th in there. However, I use a capo up on the second fret here to put the song in the singing key of A. And if A is not your singing key, then try to remove the capo or try sliding it around to find a key that fits your voice. The time signature is 4-4 time, and the tempo can be anything you want, but it's played typically around 125 beats per minute, so it's pretty fast. But feel free to find a tempo that feels right to you. Okay, the strumming pattern for this video is a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. That type of strum pattern. It's basically just a cowboy strum using the, the chords uh, with a bass line and some hammer-ons if you want, want to add them. Kind of like this. And I typically uh, like to put the... Kind of the Happy Trails uh, lick there. Uh, but you just take your middle finger and um, bounce off of that um, uh, fourth string there on the second fret. Okay, the 
C does the same thing on the third string of the second fret. Okay, that's basically the strum pattern. Now for the intro and the uh, breaks and the ending, uh, as usual, you can look to the last line of a verse or the chorus chords to find an acceptable intro, or you can just strum the first chord or even just come in singing uh, all by yourself. But in this case, we play... That's basically your intro and all the breaks in between and, and the ending. So if you just do that... Uh Okay, so performance flair, this is a fast one, so I would concentrate mainly on the bass notes and a good solid rhythm and tempo just to make the singing stand out. And also remember you can mute the strings uh, a little bit coming into the verses after the chorus, which adds some dynamics to the song and creates a bit of contrast. So if you're... Um Now this volume change from the verse to the chorus adds some contrast and keeps it a little more interesting um, and, and adds a little more feel and, and, and spirit to the song. So, uh, so try those things. You can also, like I said, have those hammer-ons. So try that, and it's real easy, and I hope you have fun with that. Hey, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed When the Angels Carry Me Home, you're going to love book number three. It's an electronic PDF with the chords and the lyrics. It's perfect for your iPad or your phone or your computer, and it's easy to print. Check out the link in the description to get this book and explore all four of my gospel books. And don't forget to subscribe for more uplifting content, and we'll see you in the next video.